a non-surgical option for people looking to rejuvenate their skin almost instantly. It's microdermabrasion, sometimes called a crystal peel, and it's being used to treat everything from age spots to acne scars. This is a crystal peel. Aesthetician Don Sinclair of Toronto Spa Medica uses a handheld machine to direct a stream of fine crystals and mild suction across fellow staffer Jennifer Theodoropoulos' face. The procedure gently buffs away the outer layer of dry skin. Fine wrinkles can be removed, any sun uh, damage to sunspots, uh, blackheads, excellent. It's very relaxing for her and she can get up and go right back to work afterwards. If you're wondering what it feels like, it's really not painful. It feels more like a vacuum cleaner being run across your skin. While the machine won't make deep lines disappear or shave 15 years off a person's face, cosmetic plastic surgeon Steve Mulholland says a crystal peel is one of a growing number of procedures that can help rejuvenate skin without surgery. Yeah, it creates a very vital, vibrant, healthy look to the skin. It's outpatient, there's no downtime, very little discomfort, and you can go right back to work. What do you think? Do you see much of a difference? Um, more I feel more of a difference. Smoother, much smoother. Dr. Mulholland says each treatment lasts about 30 minutes. Costs vary depending on who's doing it. At Spa Medica, the price is $145. Some skin conditions are not appropriate for crystal peels, so it's a good idea to check with your doctor before undergoing the treatment. And finally, you may want to get your annual flu shot sooner rather than later. That's a of laser technology, there are now so many more ways to fight the aging process. Cosmetic light surgery is one of the latest techniques that women are now considering. We went to a clinic in Toronto to check it out. I'm serious when it comes to wrinkles. It's everywhere. It noticeably reduces the appearance of wrinkles. The promise of eternal youth. Lather on that cream and it might just delay the inevitable. Because I'm worth it. But there is a new weapon in the war against aging. Everybody close your eyes. Little crow's feet, little fine upper lip lines, fine forehead lines, they all do very well with a the laser. They call it the cosmetic quick fix. Many, like this 40-year-old patient, are lining up to give it a try. What bothered her the most were some of the aging signs, wrinkles and pigmentation of her upper lip. After a few weeks of laser treatment... She has had an improvement in the depth and the appearance of the fine lines. It almost appeals to all age ranges because the very young individual in their 20s and early 30s that is a little bit concerned about starting to see their first wrinkles can achieve some improvement. For the middle ages and 40s and 50s, uh, it, it offers an improvement in appearance without downtime. I had a lot of freckles all across my cheeks and across my nose, all around my nose, and I just call them round spots all along my hairline here and over here, and they're all gone. Well, I've done um, four micro uh, dermabrasions and I've done four of the laser treatments. I thought my face was perhaps showing some age that I didn't want to show yet. Most say that they feel youthful, they feel energetic, and when they look in the mirror they just kind of, oh, who is that looking at me? And there's this disharmony between what they feel inside and what they feel they're projecting to people. Or people will actually comment, did you get enough sleep last night, did you look tired? All those things tend to get people down, even the most confident of us. And so they're looking for something that picks them up, that, that somehow creates the look in their skin that matches that vitality they feel inside. Well, I decided to do this because uh, I want to maintain my youthful look. <laughs> A lot of accumulated damage occurs superficially in the skin. You lose collagen content, you okay. lose elastin, two important fibers on your skin that gives you that youthful, full, turger, uh, like a little baby, full of water and round and smooth and soft. So if you're going to create a youthful look, you somehow have to bring those fibers back. There's two components to the treatment. We treat the aging skin like a sandwich. And the outer layer of the sandwich, we use a, a little crystal peel device that um, passes a stream of aluminum oxide crystals quickly across the skin. And they all, all have a cutting edge, and they take off the dead layer. And that doesn't hurt at all. It feels uh, like a relaxing massage, and it takes off that irregular, rough, textured component to your skin. The next week you get pulsed light and laser therapy that goes right through that thin skin to the under carpet, and that's the deep part of the sandwich, and that's where we're building up collagen. And that treatment stings a little bit. It's very tolerable. There's no freezing needed. People 
uh, get off the table after having that treatment and uh, can go right back to work. After many, many, many treatments, we haven't experienced any complications, but we still inform patients what those rare risks might be. Blistering, uh, some slight pigment change in your skin, either slightly darker, slightly lighter. It's still best suited for um, light-skinned individuals, uh, Caucasian, North European skin. It's also appropriate for Mediterranean or olive pigmented skin and some Asian skin. But as you get into very dark uh, African-Canadian or African-American skin types, be very, very careful about pigmentation change. In the beginning, I didn't really see, you know, too much change. But what happens is it happens over a period of time as the as a collagen, I guess, is stimulated underneath the skin and it kind of helps puff out those lines. In my belief, there's a lot of pressure from all avenues of the media to look youthful. I'm against the pressure, but I'm for choice. If there's something that you don't like, change it. Stepping early, I think it's a good money maker. Get them early, get them hooked. Now, I think women in midlife, which is what we're talking about, don't like the way they look when they compare themselves to these images that are all around us of young women, because that's the standard of beauty in our culture. And so we try and do anything but age. On Saturday, Health City. New millennium and new skin technology. We're back with Dr. Steve Mulholland and Chrissy. Dr. Mulholland, what are we doing today? What we're going to be doing is using some very high tech te uh, technology to address some of the skin problems that people develop, either from age, time, sun exposure, very fine wrinkles. We can use techniques called pulse light therapy or photofacial to build up collagen under those wrinkles. Pigmentation changes in the face, hyperpigmentation, sun blotches, and some of the vascular blemishes, the little spiders, are all treated with a photofacial as well. And we blend that with some microdermabrasion and some other techniques that we'll talk about. And over a period of time, you see a really nice vitality and, uh, and a youthful appearance to the skin with really no surgical intervention. Okay, Chrissy, are you ready? Ready for that new year, new skin. <laughs> Dr. Mulholland, this is microdermabrasion. What's that used for? Well, what uh, Don is uh, expertly applying now are little tiny crystals passed across the skin. They take off the very outer dead layer of our skin, that very sallowed, uh, aged appearance to the skin. Mm -hmm. And that in itself will help smoothen very fine wrinkles, take some of the pigment out, help with pores and textural irregularities. But more importantly, it also removes that dead outer layer so that the photofacial treatment, the pulsed light, can get down to where it needs to work to remove spiders and brown spots and beef up wrinkles. Okay, Patrick, what I'm doing now, I'm putting the photofacial handpiece and filter down on the cooling gel. And that cooling gel is just used to cool the skin and make it comfortable. We don't need any freezing. We don't need any anesthetics or numbing cream. This is all you need. And uh, we're gonna see an intense pulse light. That pulse light is going down deep under the skin and stimulating the formation of collagen people really have to understand how new this is. Yes, you can do resurfacing, you can do any other type of chemical peel, but you'll have a lot of downtime. You'll have redness, you'll have pinkness, you'll have, uh, you'll have skin that you need to clean and look after, and you must take time off work to do that. This is a new technology that says, we're not even gonna touch the outer surface of your skin, we're gonna send the pulse light deep, deep to the undercarpet of the skin and actually produce collagen, wow. between 10 and 30% more over a few weeks. We're also going to fade the blemishes, the spiders, and the brown spots while we're there. So Chrissy, your pulsed light photofacial treatment's almost done for today. Next time, you'll be coming back and you'll be doing some microdermabrasion and a little oxygen treatment in between. Does it hurt? Um, Does it hurt, Steve? Well, the first part of the treatment is alternating. One week yeah. is the microdermabrasion, right, right. and that feels great. There's really no pain with that. Yeah. The pulse light feels like an elastic band snapping on your skin. Mm -hmm. No one's ever said, stop, I can't tolerate this anymore. Okay. And the nice thing is you, you feel, wow, I must be getting some burn or something to my skin. But you feel when like you, something is happening. And, yeah. and, and you stand up and you look in the mirror and there's nothing because oh. it's all gone right through the outer layer, epidermis, to the deep layer. And that's where we stimulate certain cells to produce your own collagen. So instead of putting those collagen injections in, you we're producing our own. Exactly. We are taking light energy yeah. with specific uh, features to that energy yeah. and turning on the production of collagen, which of course, as you know, dissipates as yes. we age. And it's about an eight-week treatment. It's not something you're going to see, wow, one week I look so much more vital. Fantastic. But yeah. over six to eight no. weeks, about 80% of the clients that uh, I've developed this technique mm -hmm. with have 
commented on a noticeable significant improvement in, in their do skin. Do you do a before shot? Do you take a little Polaroid so they can see always. the differences? Yeah, we, always. We huh? digitize their face before yeah. and then we take a digital image at the end of the eight weeks and uh, we ask them to fill out uh, sort of a, an analog scale of how much improvement they notice. Okay, before we get to the next part too, how new is this? This is very new. It's, um, it's a, lo a lot of this technology really isn't even uh, approved in the States for okay. this utilization. Um, the actual wavelength and the pulse light lasers are approved, but where I've taken this is beyond what is uh, what is certainly accepted in, in the FDA, but Health Protection Branch in Canada, it is. It is is they okay with this? Yeah. Okay. All right, we're going to take a look at the rest of Chrissy's treatment right now. Let's do that. Very interesting. Dr. Mulholland, we're several sessions into the program. What's next? We've used the uh, crystal peel to smoothen out some of the wrinkles, textural irregularities, some of the pores. We've come from below mm -hmm. with the photofacial and the pulsed light to build up collagen. So what we're going to do today is, at this point in the treatment, often hydration is important to the skin, uh, bringing back some of the moisture content. And Don will be uh, taking uh, Chrissy through an oxygen facial. So what is the oxygen mask? The oxygen mask is uh, almost the finishing touch of a treatment that's designed to help hydrate the skin after these microdermabrasion and photofacial treatments so that you get the op optimum in rejuvenation. What I've done is I've applied serums to Chrissy's skin to hydrate and penetrate deeply into the skin. I'm now ensuring that that happens by putting this mask on. It'll stay on for about 15 minutes. Patrick, now that we've taken off Chrissy's mask, we're going to begin the deep penetration of the product into her skin. What this is is a double oxygen treatment. What that means is, is I'm using the serums that are oxygen based to hydrate her skin and propelling them into her skin by use of oxygen gas. In the winter we need this. We dehydrate which means we lose water in our skin almost continuously with the, the central heating, the cold weather. We're going to finish off with an injectable to help with the things that gravity create, the, the deep furrows on the smile lines, corners of the mouth. And Articol is what we're going to use today. It's one of the newest injectables, recently approved about five months ago. And the nice thing about Articol, unlike collagen or hyaluform, it lasts. First of all, Chrissy has been frozen. That's why there's a little bit of puffiness to the skin. But although this might look painful, there's absolutely no pain or discomfort whatsoever on the part of uh, the client during this phase. And then these little beads of polymethacrylate, which is the article, are deposited under the skin and they stimulate collagen production. And that's a beautiful thing because the collagen beefs up the furrow or the wrinkle and creates a much softer look. Well, Dr. Mulholland, we're done. We are. Chrissy has completed her course of treatment mm -hmm. and I've noticed a real improvement in a lot of the areas that bothered her. The fine lines across the forehead and the fine lines or crow's feet of the eyes are much improved. There are a lot of blemishes, as you, if you recall, of the cheeks and broken blood vessels and sunspots of the upper cheek and they've all blended very nicely. So overall there's been an improvement in the vitality and the harmony of her skin. It looks much more youthful and vital. And from this point on, just some basic skin care, toner, cleanser, and perhaps coming in every three months, months for a touch-up, microdermabrasion, and a photofacial, and she can maintain this vitality for a long time. Oh, Chrissy, you look great. And I'm not just saying that because you're my boss. Yes, you are, Patrick. <laughs> <laughs> oh, butter up. You look great, huh? It, it, I, the, the, the session that she has to go in in, what, six months is only like a 135-minute yeah, session. It's, it's That's not it. Another, it's not like another no, eight-week plan. It's not the whole package and no. process. It's just no. one microdermabrasion and uh, pulsed light treatment. Okay, now here's the thing. Who would you not recommend this to? Because there's some people that will want to sign up for this right away thinking, hey, this is great. This is a great alternative to actually, you know, going under the knife. But you're saying what? Well, what are, we really do inform our clients well. This mm. is not for people with bags, sags, and droops. It's okay. not going to reverse gravity. But it will reverse a lot of the superficial components of aging. The pigmentation from sun, the uh -huh. photo aging it's right. called, the broken blood vessels, and the fine wrinkles. If you've got deep furrows and crevices, it's not going to help that. Mm -hmm. But it will help with the superficial components of your skin. Sure. So if that's what you're looking to improve, it's a wonderful and new uh, approach for now, that. Now, uh, you know, there's a lot of young women that watch the show and, you know, they 
they want to look like uh, the people on uh, the covers of magazines, and that's not somebody that you would do either. I mean, this has to be. Right. No, they're yeah. better for airbrushing. And yes. Some computer it's all airbrushing, okay? I just want you to But, know. you know, I must say that for the younger individual that mm -hmm. wants some prophylactic strike at early wrinkles, blemishes, sun damage, uh, before this, there was too much downtime for their really problem. Sure. This is really an alternative with no downtime. So okay. it, is, it is appropriate for young people who have some sign of aging. Some sign of aging. So once again, the treatments are for eight weeks, 35-minute sessions, right? Yes. And then if you decide to continue with it, uh, once every six months for a 35-minute session. Yeah, about six months. Okay. Some people may stretch it longer, some every three months. Well, I'm sure other people have questions for you, so we want you to stay on. Okay. And any cosmetic surgery question that you might have, give us a call, 416-870-7716 or 1-800-295-LINE. Dr. Steve Mulholland will be back right after this. Stay with us.